what's up it's Jessica welcome back thank you guys so much for tuning in today so today's video is going to be a first impression slash review of a new cosmetic line by the name of Uma Beauty I hope I'm saying that right not just any like cosmetic slash makeup line this is a black owned beauty line and I'm excited to try it out actually they sent me this entire box of goodies that I was not expecting seriously was not expecting this when I got it in the mail I was super hyped and pumped I was like definitely have to do a review on this I actually have seen a couple reviews on this line actually I've only seen two yeah a couple that's what a couple is Jessica but I wanted to do my own review to form my own opinion about the brand um, so we're just gonna jump right in let's dive into the video all right first I'm gonna prime my skin I'm gonna use my Tatcha primer now I should have read the description of the foundation before I go in with the primer but I want to use the primer that I normally use which is this top this Tatcha one because I love it okay so moving on to foundation so this is the packaging of the foundation actually it's sort of kind of coordinating with this whole little look, the black and the orange. I did not plan that, but I'm glad I did. This is how it looks. It has like this frosted glass look. I think it looks really, really cute. You get about one fluid ounce of foundation. Okay, so this foundation comes in 51 shades. And it looks like the foundation is like categorized by your skin tone. So black pearl being the deepest. So there's like a collection of foundations within that black pearl range. Then brown sugar, which is for brown skin. It looks like they sent me all of the entire foundations within the brown sugar collection. There's bronze Venus, bronze Venus, which is for rich <laughs> tan skin. And then there's honey honey, which is of olive skin tone. Fair lady, which is for fair skin. And there's white pearl, which is for very fair skin. Now it's just time to figure out which one is my shade. That's the hard part. And I'm gonna swatch right here on my chest. Okay, let's start off with Brown Sugar T1N, which I'm assuming the N is for neutral because I've seen some with the letter C, which is for cool undertones, and then I saw W, which is for warm, so I'm just gonna use my brain and assume they're divided into like undertones, which is, if that is the case, <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm more of a golden undertone. I'm going to try brown sugar T19 just to see how that looks. Put it right there on my chest. Can you guys see that? So I think this might be a little too, not my shade. <laughs> yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be too big for me. All right, so right next to it is T1C. All right, I'm gonna go in with T1W and let's see if this will match. Okay, so right next to it, right here is T1W. Guys, why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? All right, so this is the T1 and T2 colors. Which one is gonna work is the question. All right, I decided to go with T1C. And we're just gonna hope for the best for this shade. I'm just gonna apply a little bit first, starting off. I really hope this shade matches somewhat. If I need to mix shades, I will. I wanna say this foundation is a little bit liquidy. It reminds me of, if I had to compare it to a formula, it kind of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty foundation as far as formula. Let's blend that out and see what that does. So far, I like the way it's blending out. I like the coverage. It's pretty nice. Honestly, it does remind me of the Fenty Beauty foundation so far. Like, I'm not sure how it's gonna wear, but it re it's reminding me of that foundation because I feel like when I applied the Fenty Beauty to my face, it kind of gave me the same type of look, like a comfortable matte and like a very natural finish. And I like natural finishes because I just like my skin to look like skin, but like better than my normal skin. So it's not an exact match, but I'm honestly not mad at how it's blending out. Like I feel like it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to look. Like when I applied it with my finger to my face, I felt like that was gonna look kind of, like I was gonna look off, but it's not that bad. Okay, so this is my face after applying the foundation. I definitely, well not definitely, I could if I wanted to be extra go in with a little bit more, 
but I'm loving this natural soft matte comfortable finish like it looks flawless it's like this is to a T reminding me remi reminding me of the Fenty Beauty foundation because I feel like Fenty Beauty gave me the same type of look like a healthy glow like my skin feels and looks very healthy like my natural shine is like popping through now I don't know how that's gonna wear throughout the day. Hopefully not too shiny because I have oil, oily combination skin. I like to look a little bit matte because of that. But so far I'm really liking this healthy glow because I feel like it makes you look more youthful, makes you look more refreshed, makes you look like you drink a lot of water. Get your celery juice on. That's like the type of flow I'm getting with this. But so far that color was not bad. I'm actually not gonna apply any more foundation. I like that finish. I'm gonna leave her alone. I'm gonna let her do her thing. We're not gonna overdo her, but we're gonna move on to these concealers. They have these, I believe it's called Stay Woke Concealers. First of all, love the name. My nails are a hot mess. Do, do not judge, do not. And I have three with me. I have the Brown Sugar Collection. T4 being the deepest, T1 being the lightest, and then there's T3 right here. Okay, so T3. It's too dark to con to highlight with, so I'm gonna go in with T1, which is, I prefer golden whenever I'm doing like my highlights. This is a little bit more, it has more of a peach undertone. I don't know how that's gonna work, y'all. I do not know, but let's, let's try her out. Let's start off with very little, just in case, just in case it does not go as planned. Let's see how she blends out. I like the way it's blending out. That's not too bad. It blends out nicely and really easy too. Let's see how it acts when you layer them. Cause sometimes concealers tend to crease up if you layer them on top of each other. But let's see how this one does. It's giving me super like natural, like a natural beat. And that color is not too bad. I thought it'd be too peachy, but it's really not that bad. But I'm loving how this is blending out. I'm gonna go ahead and contour using my Fenty Matchstick and Espresso because I do not have one of their contours. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. All right, y'all, this is my skin before I go ahead and set it with powder and I am loving it. It looks so healthy, like a healthy natural glow. Definitely doesn't look like I have on a ton of makeup. Does make it? Make it really? Definitely doesn't feel like I have on a ton of makeup. I feel like my skin has just like this really natural, healthy looking glow. Like, girl, what's your skincare routine? So I brought you guys in a little closer so you guys can kind of like see my face. This is very intimate. Lips are ashy. I may have a stash. But we're talking about this makeup and my face looks and feels so bomb right now. Like, y'all see that? It looks natural. Like, I don't mind if a little bit of like my natural marks on my face like kind of peek through. I don't mind the beauty mark showing. I don't mind a little blemish showing here and there, but it covered it up so well that it just looks like I have really good skin. So definitely here for it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish my complexion products, like the rest of my face, and then I'll be back when it's time to do the eyeshadow. Okay, so face is complete and beat what look at that glow it's time to move on to these eyes sis so i'm going to be using this palette by uma beauty it is called the black magic eyeshadow palette and this palette y'all is so gorgeous like the colors ooh, okay the colors in this palette are so gorgeous look at those shades look at them so there's like four glitter shades there's one little shimmer and then there's two four five um matte colors and i love the shades there's a lot of like there's a lot to work with very like giving me jungle fever vibes like i'm in the jungle i'm on a safari i'm lost but i got my palette with me that's what it's doing so for today's look which i don't even know what look i'm going for i'm really obsessed with this olive green like glitter color it's called mystical and i really want to use that one so what should i do i'm gonna go in with love i really suck at describing things but it looks kind of like a dark like burgundy maroon it's dark it's, it's give it i think it'll complement that shade really well so that's what i'm gonna use i'm gonna dip my brush in her 
and just put her right in that crease. I believe they have three eyeshadow palettes, but when I seen this like on the site, this one was my favorite. I was so glad that they, you know, sent me this one. This is actually my favorite out of the bunch. I, I haven't tried the other ones, but I know my aesthetic, I know my vibe, I know what I like, and I'm here for green. Like, green is everything. I mean, she's cute or whatever, I like her. As you guys may know, I am not a pro at applying eyeshadow at all. I just like eyeshadow. Never been really good at it, but I love eyeshadows so much. I brought you guys closer. I don't know why you guys were so far away. <laughs> Debating if I should go in with Lush. Lush. I'm gonna go in with Mystical, and I'm gonna put that right on top of my lid. I'm gonna just put a little bit on my finger just to see how that looks as well. I'm just gonna pat that right there. I like it, I really do. And I didn't get that much fallout too. Mm -mm. For it to be so like there, I didn't really get as much fallout. I really thought I was. I was bracing myself for it. I think I wanna go in with Lush. Does it kind of feel like being daring? And I'm just gonna, oop. That's too much. I'm just gonna put her in the corner. You know, because why not? We're already here, you know? Who says we have to be a pro? I kinda like her on the outer wing. This is the most eyeshadow I've worn in a long time. <laughs> this is a lot for me. I don't do this, who is she? So I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Allure. It's so pretty. Ooh, look at how pretty that is, y'all. That is so gorgeous. I'm gonna try out this one right here, Enchantress. Enchantress, I hope I said that right. This one right here. And we're gonna put that in the inner corner. I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna line my waterline really quick. I'm just gonna take Lush and Love to kind of smoke out that bottom lash line. I'm gonna wing out my eye slightly with this eyeliner by Uma Beauty. It's their Cleopatra Ink Blackity Black, y'all. I'm Blackity Black liquid eyeliner and I'm just gonna um line my eyes really quick. Okay, so I just threw on my lashes and I'm good to go. Really feeling this eye look. Now it's time to move on to lipsticks. You guys, they sent me so many lipsticks, but basically they sent me like, I believe this is like a matte lipstick. They sent me their glosses and they also sent me these metallic lipsticks. Some of the most gorgeous lipsticks I've ever seen in my life. Like look at this gold metallic lipstick. I am dying to try this one, this is so gorgeous. I don't think it'll go with this look, so I'm not gonna wear it, but I cannot wait to wear that one. And then these are the glosses. It's like a tinted gloss, so that's cool. Like, look at this color. Why is this bomb? Why is this bomb? So I'm trying to figure out if I wanna do a matte lip or if I wanna do a glossy lip. This color is so bomb that I just kinda wanna throw it on. My lips are so ashy right now. First things first, I'm going to line my lips with my ColourPop liner in the shade K. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here. Um, the name of it is called Tracy. We're gonna put Tracy on. I wanted to do something totally different, but I'm kinda feeling this color, so I'm just trying to see how it looks. Oh my God. Oh, it's so velvety. Y'all, why is this shade life? Like, why is this a really bomb nude color? Like brown girl friendly nude. Oh my God. I don't even want to mess with her. Like, I don't even want to put a gloss on top of her. Ooh, y'all, that is pretty. Okay, Jessica. You know what? I think I'm going to leave this color because I really do like it. I'm not gonna even add a gloss. I love this comfortable, velvety matte like 
This glided on so smooth. Literally the smoothest, the smoothest lipstick I think I've ever put on. Oh my God, the formula kind of reminds me of Pat McGrath's um, her matte lipsticks. It kind of reminds me of that, but this shade. All right, y'all, so this is the completed look, and what do you guys think? Y'all, I am feeling this look from the, like, when I tell you my skin looks like I just scraped some butter off of toast, my skin looks like vegan butter, okay? All the goodness without the bad stuff. That's what it looks like. As you guys obviously can tell, I'm here for this, but let me just go ahead and just like break it down. Just Let's just break it down. All right, let's start off with the foundation. She's a real, she's a real cute one. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical about her. She's cute now. We're good now, but I was skeptical because I've seen some reviews and um, some opinions were that they didn't really like the finish of the foundation. But this is why you gotta try things out for yourself, okay? This foundation is so good. I put her up there with Fenty. Like, I don't see really a difference between the two. What I will say is that the Fenty, it's really, really, really natural, at least in my opinion. And I love the Fenty one. Um, but this one kind of gives me natural but more of a beat, more of a beat natural, but very lightweight, very comfortable, and she doesn't really settle like at all. My skin looks just so good. I'm thoroughly impressed by the finish of this foundation. Um, I, I really love it. I love the fact that they're categorized by specific ranges, so you're not confused. Like if you are a very deep girl, then you would be in, what category was that? You would be in the Black Pearl. And I love that this foundation, honestly, it's, it's kind of different than ones that I've tried. And I think it's because focused on skin's concerns. Because I feel like sometimes makeup brands just want to make you up, but they don't really take the time to develop a technology that works with your specific skin's concerns. And this one does. Like, if you have hyperpigmentation, oily combination skin, there's really good active ingredients like tomato extract. I personally love tomato and use tomato on my face. So it's just crazy that that is in um, these foundations. Another extract is thistle extract. There's just like a what? White tea extract, rose hybrid extract. There's so many good ingredients in this foundation. And I love that because I'm not just trying to look good. I want my face underneath to also behave. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever put on makeup and then when you took it off your skin was just like, girl, it's about time. She started just acting up days later. I love how my skin feels with this on. Like it feels so good. I I'm just here for it. I really think this is a really good foundation. Definitely something that you should check out. Same for the concealer. I love the concealer. I feel like the concealer and the foundation work great together. Like it's like peanut butter and jelly girl, okay? They go hand in hand. It did not crease. It gave me a really good finish. I was skeptical about the shade. Which shade did I use? I think I used T1 or T2, but that worked out perfectly fine for me. And I think it gave me a really nice natural like highlight. Definitely recommend this. I am going to be using um, the T3 as like my corrector next time just to see how that works. But guys, I'm loving I'm here for this. The Black Magic Eyeshadow Palette I, is another one that I really, really like. First of all, I told you guys I love the shade when I seen it on the site. This is the one that I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy that one. So I was excited that they sent it to me. Very pretty shades, really like workable and wearable. I know I've seen some reviews that stated that it was hard to blend out for them, like the pigments were hard or something like that, but I didn't have that issue at all, you guys. But I feel like for someone like me who is not that great at eyeshadow. I don't have the best tools and I was still able to get a really good like result. I feel like it blended out well. I don't feel like it stayed in one spot. I feel like the pigments are amazing. I didn't have to wet my brush. And I just think this eyeshadow look is, is everything is life, okay? I really recommend these and check out the other ones too. This happens to be my favorite, but you know, just because this one's slayed, I'm going to go and check out the other two as well. But I really, really enjoyed this eyeshadow palette. This eyeliner worked really, really well. It's definitely liggity black, okay? They did not lie at the description. I felt like it was easy to use, especially, again, if you're not as skilled in the eyeliner wing department. I just did like a basic little safe. I play it safe, girl. 
and play it safe. And it did its thing. And it's very, very dark, very black, very pigment, pigmented. Yeah, it's pigmented. Very pigmented and I think you will definitely enjoy this as well. All right, so let's talk about these lipsticks, sis, because the T is, they're fire. This shade right here, what shade am I wearing actually? I'm wearing Tracy. Tracy, Tracy is amazing. She is so gorgeous. It's definitely a matte lipstick, like velvety matte lipstick. It's so easy and smooth to put on. I wasn't even going for like a nude lip. I wanted to do something kind of glossy, but once I put Tracy on, she just changed my mind. She told me to hang up, do not call back because I'm the one you need. And girl, she is. <laughs> this is what For Us By Us looks like. When you are a brown beauty and you make brown girl friendly products, you just nail it. You nail it, okay? This is the perfect, and there's so many nudes. These are not all the nudes that I have, but this is a perfect brown nude. Do you see how it looks on me? Now somebody deeper than me, this will blend in with their skin even more and be even more stunning. Like, do you see, do you see? Do you see? Do you see? When you get your paycheck, you need to head over to Ulta Beauty or to umabeauty.com and you need to pick up some lipsticks, I'm just saying. I'm not trying to run your pockets, I'm just trying to run your pockets. I love this lipstick. This glide on so smooth, it was velvety, it was matte, it's a comfortable matte. If it, it just, and y'all know I have the most ashiest lips. And even my ash could not stop the shine, like it could not stop the fire. It's just so, gorgeous i'm here for it if you guys want to see a dedicated lip swatch video of all of the lipsticks i received from uma beauty maybe you want to see some of the metallics maybe you want to see some of the mattes maybe you want to see the glosses and you want to know how it looks um let me know i definitely can get that video up for you guys so that is my review and first impression of uma beauty i think for a first launch you guys did the dang thing i really enjoyed this thoroughly um <laughs> y'all get tens across the board because this face doesn't lie it does not lie okay it doesn't lie it tells no fibs all right y'all that is my review and first impression of the uma beauty if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up it is free i promise you it does not cost a thing thumbs up this video and also if you have not subscribed girl what like what is it going to take? Another slay? Another beat? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you do not miss out on my videos. Some of y'all be telling me, girl, I didn't even know you still post. YouTube be tripping, girl. So just turn on those post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. And share this video with a friend. Leave me some love down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.